This is the High School Football America 2-Minute Drill podcast for July 24, 2018. I'm Jeff Fisher. The High School Football America 2-Minute Drill is brought to you by the Debris Inhibitor Razor. Stop those pesky rubber pellets from field turf from getting into your shoes with a TDI Razor that also gives you the great look of spatting without the high cost of tape. Well, another day and another round of bonus audio for you from my upcoming book, High School Football in Texas, Amazing Football Stories from the Greatest Players of Texas, hitting bookstores stores and shipping out on Amazon and Barnes and Noble beginning on September the 4th. Over two dozen past and present NFL players interviewed for this book that we're spotlighting. It's 100% high school football. Well, it might be like 99.5% because at the end of each chapter of the featured players, we talk about what they did after high school. But all of the questions that I ask were completely about their high school football memories. Nine Hall of Famers having a huge impact on the sport in the Lone Star State, are featured in the book. For more, go to highschoolfootballamerica.com. And again, you can pre-order the book right now at uh, Amazon and on Barnes & Noble's website and wherever books are sold. Now to the bonus audio. Uh, Over the last three days, we had three Pro Football Hall of Famers. Today, we go to a college football Hall of Famer, a great lineman from the western part of the state who went on to the University of Texas and then a long career with the Philadelphia Eagles. His name, Jerry Sizemore, and Jerry played at Plainview, and he told me as we started the interview that his goal wasn't to be a football player. As a matter of fact, he described himself as a, as a chubby kid, a, a short chubby kid that uh, had more interest in something other than the sport of football. Seventh grade football coach at Coronado Junior High, Plainview, Texas, was walking by the band hall, and I was, oh crap, I was over in the corner hiding behind my trombone. I did not want to do that. I had, I knew it was going to be tough, and I wanted to play the trombone. I love music. <laughs> and, uh, he came by and looked in there, and he goes, uh-uh, no, 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 you're coming with me. And so, I went my music career. That's college football Hall of Fame lineman Jerry Sizemore talking about uh, how he became a football player. He literally wanted to be a musician, and he expanded upon that. And you'll be able to read that story in the book, High School Football in Texas, Amazing High School Football Stories from the Greatest Players of Texas, hitting bookstores and shipping out on September the 4th. Uh, Actually, the lead-in to him telling that story was I told him the story about Ken Houston, the Pro Football Hall of Fame cornerback who was on the two-minute drill yesterday, and he didn't start playing uh, high school football until he was a sophomore. And uh, there's a real cute story on why uh, Ken Houston decided to go out for the football team. He was an athlete. He was a good basketball player. He loved uh, baseball, running track, and those sort of things. But he really didn't have an interest in, in playing the sport of football. So it's sort of those stories that are throughout this book. Uh, people that have read it so far have said it really is a history book, something uh, stories that haven't been told up until this point because these players are Usually, uh, you know, they spotlight their college careers and their pro football careers. But uh, this one, uh, I'm very, very proud of it. And the people that have read it said it's a, it's a must read if you're a Texas high school football fan. Andy Dalton is on the cover, the uh, quarterback uh, of the Cincinnati Bengals now and the, the great tradition there at Katy. Uh, if you've been listening to the two-minute drill since uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we've been uh, spotlighting people like Eric Dickerson, Earl Campbell, uh, giving you bonus audio, things that aren't in the book. But uh, I encourage you to go online to pre-order the book. You don't want to wait for that, right? Unless you're going to go right into the stores and and pick it up when it comes out on September 4th. But uh, you can pre-order it. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and wherever books are sold, go on to highschoolfootballamerica.com to get all the information, all of the links there. Again, nine pro football Hall of Famers. And then there's some college football Hall of Famers like uh, the coach Gene Stallings, who we had on the two-minute drill a couple of days ago, and Jerry Sizemore, who you just heard from. And we want to remind everyone, you have up until midnight tonight Eastern time to vote in the quarterfinal round of our uh, online social media contest to determine which state plays the best high school football. We've got eight teams going um, 
at each other. The uh, the winners from the quarterfinal round go on to the semifinals that start tomorrow, which will be Wednesday at noon. We'll do a 24-hour vote on that. It looks like at this point, the top two seeds, Texas and Florida, are going to advance unless there's a huge vote. But hey, you never know, right? Go online. Uh, the voting continues on Twitter and on Instagram. The voting has been shut down on uh, Facebook at this point, but we combine all of the totals from those social media platforms, and then we will have our winners moving on to the semifinals. My finals right now. Uh, the uh, the other two that are very very close are the uh, the battles between uh, Georgia and Louisiana and Ohio and California. They're neck and neck. So uh, every vote counts as we come down the stretch. We will do the uh, the finals over the weekend starting on Friday. Again, we'll be using all of our social media platforms. We'll be using uh, Twitter. Facebook, and Instagram. So uh, check us out at all those platforms and cast your vote. Make your vote count. Uh, a lot of g- good battling going on here. And uh, I-, I would say, you know, first off, Texas is Texas, right? And they're, they've got their chest puffed out there pretty proud. But uh, Florida's right in there with a little bit of, not trash talking, it's all good and friendly, which I like on the social media platform. We don't like people being too mean about things. And then also on Instagram. Well, the High School Football America 2-Minute Drill is brought to you by the Debris inhibitor razor and that's today's high school football america two minute drill podcast giving you up to the minute high school football news listen on our website or itunes stitcher or tune in radio and don't forget to follow us on twitter at hsfb america for the latest news throughout the day and we do the same thing on facebook and instagram our handle there is high school football america thanks for listening to the high school football america two minute drill i'm jeff fisher